हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द इनफीटीक्यू प्रोग्रामिंग क्रैश कोर्स प्रेजेंटेड टू यू बाय ऑनलाइन स्टडी फॉर यू अबाउट दिस कोर्स राइट सो वी हैव नाउ सीन व्हाई डू यू नीड दिस कोर्स एंड वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज द इनफीटीक्यू एग्जाम बिकॉज़ ऑफ व्हिच यू हैव टू टेक दिस कोर्स नाउ लेट अस सी अबाउट व्हाट विल दिस कोर्स ऑफर यू ओके लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स विल बी हैविंग क्वेश्चंस रिगार्डिंग दिस now how will you learn in this course so it it is odd uh, 20 21 days of course and it is split into three parts concentrating on the necessary concepts okay just like the exam nptq certification exam is split into three parts even this course is split into three parts okay it is not a visible three section division but it is just a overview that i'm giving you okay the first part like initially the first part i call it as starting out okay so we will learn the basics of programming with java and python using the help of simple mcqs okay so we'll take simple mp mcqs from both java and python we'll dedicate one day to a java one day to python one day to java and one day to python and we we'll learn the basics of this programming language okay we may take some uh, small snippets of code okay okay we may go and solve some basic problems basic c uh, java python problems etc and we will understand this okay this will be enough to uh crack the qualifying round examination okay then in the middle of the course we will go to the progressing round what is this progressing round in our course is that we will start solving medium to hard programming mcq questions including the previous year and sample questions okay so this will be the mcq questions and this will be the medium to hard programming questions as well okay we will solve this in both java and python that will be the progressing and in, and in the next round that is the third round we are going to go for the deep dive now what happens in this deep dive is that we will move ahead and we'll try to solve competitive programming questions okay that aims to help students that is you guys to solve coding questions in the examination okay so in the advantage round we know that there will be three coding question and even in this progressing round there will be two coding questions okay this will be slightly easier compared to this so in this round we will solve those questions okay in this round we will use C++, Java, and Python. We'll use three programming languages to actually solve this. Okay, but I know this is too much. Uh, you know, in this short twenty days time. Okay, sometimes what happens is in reality when I'm taking the class. So let's suppose if I start solving the problem in C++, uh, let's suppose if we want to solve two programs in a class of one hour, right? Sometimes time will not be enough. So that time what I'm going to do is I'll just show you how the Java and Python code works, and I'm going to give you the link to this solution. Okay. so i'll write the solution and give you the link to this solution so that you can explore the code you'll explore you'll explore the question on your own okay that is what we will be doing okay after every single class you are going to get the materials reading materials for this question let's suppose we took a question in the first round about java garbage collecting okay and i'm going to give you a link from the internet it may be from a popular website it may be from some random youtube video but i'll give you a helpful link which you can click and you can go and read about these topics and solidify your understanding about those concepts okay so that is how we do okay and i call this as class summary okay sometimes what may happen is i may not be able to give the class summary if i somehow miss it it will be given on the next day because it is a manual work okay i'll have to collect those links and i'll have to send it to you but i will mostly do it on all the days right after the class okay and uh, that is about how will we learn and what will be learned in this course now why should you join this course right i told you about why have we created this course i explained you about the infosys examination i told you how will we learn this course but still if some people will have uh, uh, doubts regarding what is the feature of this course why why should we join this course okay this course is interesting okay why because it is not just a ppt presentation okay this first class might be a small ppt presentation that i'm presenting it in front of you guys but the classes the regular classes you can ask any of our online study for you student it will not just be some random presentation etc right it will be an interactive class i will ask you guys questions okay sometimes i will make mistake students will correct sometimes students will say some wrong answer i will correct them so it is an interactive class it will be interesting and i'm sure i'll make you and i'll promise you i'll make it interesting okay it'll not be a boring lecture just like in your college you know where a professor comes in and you know blabber something in front of the students even if they're uninterested okay so that is not going to happen in this course all our courses are interesting okay our courses are available for you okay 
if let's suppose you cannot attend the class okay if you are busy at that some point of time recording is your savior okay if you miss the class for some reason don't worry all the classes will be shared with you right so that you can watch it later so it is an automated process after the class within 48 hours i think it will be it will take way less than 48 hours okay so it is an automated process the app that we have right it has a back end system that processes the recording video file and it gives it out to you okay so you can watch it okay i guess the recording uh, availability period is 3 months i guess okay i'm not sure you can check the course description but you will get the recording okay so it is interactive as i said it is not just interesting it is interactive you can ask your doubt in the chat section okay so if your question let's suppose requires more effort then i'll allow you to even verbally ask your doubt okay so i'll accept your you know you can raise a hand in the online class i'll allow it and you can ask your question okay so uh, your question will be heard all, by all of your classmates and i can answer so that all of your classmates can get benefited so it is totally interactive classes that we are going to have okay it is not just some uh, you know concepts that are being taught to you and it is comprehensive now everything you need in just 20 21 days okay so as i just uh, explained right we will cover all the you know three aspects that you need to clear the infosys examination right so it is it will give you everything in one place okay so it is perfect for students to you know prepare at the last minute let's suppose there are just two days left for uh, examination you can just run through our videos or the links materials that i provide you guys and you can just you know uh, uh study it in uh, less time you don't have to keep searching for it so that is why you should join this course okay okay so now we are uh, you know facing this infitq examination and a lot of students have queries so what will be the pattern how will the exam go on what kind of questions are going to come in this exam who are eligible etc so in order to clear your air i'm going to explain to you about the infitq exam pattern for this okay so the exam is conducted in three rounds okay so upon clearing these two rounds okay you get certified as an infosys certified software programmer now what are these three rounds the first round is the qualifying round okay in this round you'll be asked questions about programming database management and aptitude okay i guess some of you might have taken our aptitude course that is handled by pratik sir the second round is the final round okay so it consists of in depth programming and database management expertise through objective and hands on questions okay both kinds of questions are asked now if you pass this round the final round you are certified as infosys certified pro, uh, programmer okay so this is the end but for those of you students who score more than 65 percentage in this examination you are also given an additional opportunity to actually get an interview with infosys itself okay and that is why the next round comes so what is this next round is a third round that is the advantage round which is optional okay you may write it or not okay after you pass this round you are going to be infosys certified software programmer and you can you can present your score and you can Uh, present your certificate to any company okay and you can actually uh, show that you have a certificate but if you want to let's say uh, uh, you know try for a job at infosys then you'll have to uh, write this round 2 and you should have gotten more than 65 percentage in this final round exam in this final round there is a test which will assess your programming and other technical skills so basically uh, this will be only programming test okay so that is nothing but you'll have to code the solutions let's see the details of each of these round individually in detail okay so the first round is the qualifying round so you will uh, apply i i hope you have already applied for the test and uh, this is the first round that you are going to face now what happens in this uh, round is that while selecting the test slot right so there are two dates if i believe second and third right you can select a test slot in which you want to write the exam and you have to select the programming language of your choice which programming language are you interested in so you can choose either java or you can choose python as an option okay and then uh, the duration of this examination will be 60 minutes the qualifying round exam and all the questions in this examination are of objective type now here is the catch if you answer a question correctly you're going to get 
plus one marks and if you answer a question incorrectly you're going to get minus 0.25 marks okay so there is negative marking so you should be careful about what question you answer and what question you choose to leave unanswered okay so now this is the pattern how it is split up so in this qualifying round there will be three sections in the first section you will be asked a question on either java or python okay it is based upon the selection that you have made here right you can maybe put a star here so whatever language that you have chosen here your questions will be asked only on that language here so 20 questions on that and in the second section everybody will be asked about the database management system question that is 10 questions on that and then in the third section you will have aptitude questions that is 10 questions okay so all these three sections combined together forms the qualifying round okay and uh, this round will be pretty much uh, i guess will be easy for most of the students so the questions are all of basic level so your foundation on all these topics is tested in this qualifying round exam okay now when you clear this qualifying round so there is a cut off marks i guess 65 70 percent or something like that when you clear this examination right you will be moved to the next round that is the final round okay what happens in this final round is the questions that will be asked here is based on the programming language that you have selected in the previous round okay it will not change the duration of this exam will be nothing but 180 minutes or that is nothing but three hours okay and there is no negative marking in this round okay so this is how the questions are split in this round the first section consists of a java or python hands-on question there will be two questions okay that is nothing but you have to program okay so this java or python is based upon again the programming language selected earlier and then 10 mcqs based on java or python that you have selected earlier okay either java or either python and then common database management system 10 questions again so this will be a bit in depth compared to the previous round okay and if you clear this examination you become an infosys certified software programmer okay and if you scored 65 and above percentage you will get a chance to attend the next round of the examination now what is this next round that i mentioned previously the advantage round okay you can either write this round or you can choose to leave this round that is left to the student now the pattern of this advantage round uh, exam will be three programming questions of varying difficulty level will be asked so that will be nothing but one basic one medium and one hard question okay that is i guess uh, will be the pattern and uh, the time will be three hours okay that is 180 minutes in this round so you can give one hour to one question like that okay and the language the programming language that you can use here is apart from java and python you can use the other standard languages as well so you can go for c plus plus java you know i guess javascript uh, and php or something like that is allowed okay i'm not sure about all the other languages but the standard c plus plus java c and javascript should be at least allowed okay so now why this round is as i mentioned before right candidate who clear the advantage round will get a pre-placement interview opportunity for either the power programmer or system engineer specialist role based on their performance in this round okay so your performance in this round will determine okay either you'll get a power programmer or the system engineer specialist role in infosys so you can go for the interview okay if you clear this round then you will go you are going to have the interview okay so if you clear the interview then you're going to get a job at infosys okay so that is the advantage round that we are going to have in this examination okay i hope all of you are clear with uh, this uh, you know infosys pattern right so we have three rounds okay so we will be studying to clear all these three rounds okay it is not that i'll just teach you enough so that you can clear qualifying round or just final round okay so we will teach you end to end so you'll be able to clear all of this okay so now thank you for uh, you know uh, watching this uh, presentation and now i'll open this up for doubts okay